Hey guys, hope everybody's doing good out there today. Uh, thanks for tuning back into the channel. I just wanted to give everybody a big thanks for taking some time out of your day to watch the videos because man, if you're busy like me, I, I just don't have a spare minute to spare for anything hardly. So I, for you guys to take some time to watch the video, I much appreciate it. And today I've got a really good video for you guys. I'm gonna give up uh, some things that I've kept secret. I haven't shared on the channel yet. I've got quite a bit of stuff that I, I keep telling myself, man, I gotta keep something secret. I can't give everything away, but it's like slowly I'm giving up you know, everything that I've learned so far in fishing. I'm constantly learning. I'm learning new stuff all the time. But uh, not that I know everything, because I don't, but I'm just sharing with you guys what works for me. Things that I have found that uh, gets me a lot of bites and some quality fish. That's what I do here on the channel. But anyway, what I'm gonna talk about today is the uh, swing head jig. And I'm gonna show you guys two trailers that I use that you probably aren't using or you probably haven't heard many people use them. And I'm gonna show you what, how to rig them, show you, you know, tell you a little bit how I fish them and where I fish them. Real quick, I just wanted to do a couple housekeeping tips. I just want to remind you guys, um, if you're in the market for a new or used bass boat or some of the top edge cutting line fishing tackle in the, in the country, or if you need a, some help getting your boat financed, uh, I invite you guys to check out Boat Works and Bait Works here in Springfield, Missouri. I'll include the link in the description. You guys know I'm working with them. They have, you know, full line, new boats, Camus, Bass Cat, Skeeter, top of the line tackle store at Bait Works. I've done a lot of stuff on them. They have Summit Financing, which will finance your boat, even if you don't buy it there. And the good thing about that, if you go through Summit Financing, mention my name, Randy Blockett, you get a $100 gift certificate to the Bait Works tackle store if you get your loan through them. And um, so really good deal there. And just one quick reminder, um, next week, we're probably going to hit 45,000 YouTube subscribers, and we're going to be giving away cases of Bridgeford Beef Jerky, <laughs> cases of Bridgeford Beef Jerky, Seaguar Fish Line. So all you have to do is be subscribed to the channel and be eligible for that. So much appreciated. Okay, let's talk a little bit about the Swinghead Jig Secret Trailers I'm talking about. Swinghead Jigs have been around, you know, they're a staple now. They've been around for about a decade. Tommy Biffle made them famous, uh, winning some uh, Elite Series tournaments on them. And they become a uh, just a mainstay in most anglers' boxes. They work all year long, but to me, they're most effective in the pre-spawn, spawn, and post-spawn. Then there's a lull in the summer a little bit, and then they start getting good again about this time of year, October, November, that type of stuff. And um, a lot of different trailers guys use. Most guys use either the Biffle Bug. A lot of people use the Strike King Menace Grub. Um, but the two that I'm going to show you here... Um, one of them resembles a crawfish, the other one resembles a shad. And a lot of people don't use a shad trailer on a swing head jig, but guys, they will bite them, I can promise you, and I'll show you what it is. The first one I use is the Z Crawl Junior. Um, probably some of you guys may use it, some of you guys may not. This is my favorite trailer for a swing head jig if I'm on a crawdad bite. I sort of got on this deal. I was up at Stockton Lake a couple of years ago and they were biting a swing head really good. And I was catching them on a lot of different stuff and I was sort of experimenting and I put on this Z Crawl Jr. And man, <clears throat> they just, <clears throat> they got all over it. <clears throat> Excuse me. They just started biting it like crazy. And ever since then, it's become my mainstay. This is, guys, this is the one that I use most all the time in my swing head jig fishing. You know, it's just a great little crawfish imitator. You know, those tails flap really subtly on the bottom as it's scooting along the bottom. Something about the ribs they really like. And when I rig it, um, so notice how I keep the hook out on the top. Most of the time, you do not have to bury that hook back in the plastic because the just the head, the football head design on it keeps it pretty weedless. So this is one of my this is my favorite trailer anytime they're on a crawfish bite. But the one that I really want to talk about and that you probably have never used before that works really good, um, specifically if you have water visibilities that are sort of in that three to six foot zone, just a little bit clearer than what some people use them because a lot of people will use a swing head jig. It's a really good bait to use in off colored water, like one to two foot visibility. But if you guys get into an area where you've got, you know, over three foot of visibility, try this swing head jig. And this is the Zoom Z Swim swim bait that I put on it. Now, a lot of guys use the Kitech this uh, Z-Swim, it's it's just every bit as good as a Kitech, and they don't cost near as much. Um, they've got some great colors in it. 
the colors goes just any type of shad pattern it doesn't matter they have a lot of different kinds but you know just any type of a shad pattern works good and basically the same way you just come in on the underside about you know eighth of an inch or so possibly quarter it's really really critical when you rig the swim bait on there to get it perfectly straight because if you don't it just does not run right and that's how i set it up right there <coughs> Guys, I'm telling you right now, they will bite the fire out of this thing. Three, the three eight is probably my favorite uh, size to use on it. You know, if you use the Kitex, you might go to a three three, but this little deal right here, you guys just got to try it. You know, just rig it up, throw it on fifteen pound test four carbon line, same type of places you're, you're fishing your swing head jigs. The things that I found out about the crawfish patterns is I can. I can just go down like rocky banks and flats with the crawfish pattern and catch them. But the shad, when I'm using the shad trailer, it seems like I like to stay on the flatter point. So um, you know, I, there's just something about it. it. seems like they bite it on the points a little bit better. But give me a, a try, guys. Those are the two that I want to talk about. Zoom Z Swim, Swim Bait, Z Craw from Zoom. You guys can get them <clears throat> at uh, Baitworks. I'll include the link in the description here. It's great if you like what I'm doing here on the channel. It's a great way to support the channel by ordering through that link. And um, anyway, give it a try. It's going to add it to more bites for you this fall. I know you'll catch some bass on them. And let me know. Let me share me some stories after you guys try it. Let me know how it goes. So thanks for tuning in. We'll be back soon with another one.